Hi, my name is Dan Taylor, and this is Lorelai. Hello! And this is Jackson. Hi! I'm the director of player development for the men's basketball at Georgia Tech. Normally at this time of year, I'd be working the guys out in Zelnak, but just like you, we're all practicing social distancing, and so I wanted to share some ideas with you for staying active and having fun with your family at this time. Really important before you begin any kind of physical activity to make sure you warm yourself up, just to get the body kind of primed for what you're doing, and also to get your mind right. Isn't that right? Yeah! Okay, here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is a really simple dynamic warm up, which is exactly what I do with the basketball team before every practice, every kind of game, just to get everybody uh, ready to rock. Okay, so here we go. First thing we're gonna go is knee to chest. You're gonna do eight to 10 steps, okay? Here we go. Okay, second thing we're gonna do is heal the butt grab. So heal the butt, literally just like it sounds. Try to stay nice and tall. Oop, try to stay on balance. Couple steps in between, each time, good. Okay, next one we're gonna do, sometimes call Frankenstein, sometimes call Toy Soldier. You're gonna kick your leg up as straight as you can. Don't be too violent and crazy with it, just nicely controlled, couple steps in between. Okay, here we go. Boom, one, two, boom, one, two. Nice hamstring warm up. Let your hips get loose and sit down all day. We go one more time. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, next one we're gonna do is called figure four. And this is a hip release one, okay? okay. So you're gonna figure four because your legs look like the figure four. And when you get to this position, you're just gonna pull up and across like this. That's it, boom, couple steps in between. Ready? Up and across, boom, feel it in your butt hip area. Boom, couple steps in between. Again, try to stay nice and tall. I gotta make sure I do that too. Excellent, good. Cool, now because we're gonna be doing some funky activities, we're gonna do some lateral stuff. So you're gonna go side lunge. So you're gonna go back, forth, then you're gonna rotate, face the fence. Back, forth, rotate, face the camera. Back, forth, I'm gonna go one more time. Good. Okay. Last one, yes, good job. Last one for the legs. We're just gonna imagine there's little hurdles or cones on the floor and we're gonna lift our legs up and over the hurdles. We're gonna go left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Good, very last thing we're gonna do, last couple things, because we're gonna do some upper body stuff as well. We're gonna do big forward circles of your arms. I don't wanna, don't wanna hit you, so you're gonna come up and swing forward and back. So from forward to back, go back and forth, excuse me. Good, keep going with your footsteps. Okay, last thing. Same idea, only instead of going in big circles, you're gonna go backwards, forwards, across. Okay, so uh, don't let me hit you, here we go. Boom, boom. Nice and moving, some steps in between. So at that point, if you need to do anything that's specific to you and your circumstance, feel free, and then we should be ready to get going. Okay, good, so hopefully you guys are warmed up now. Next thing I wanna do is a little bit of core work. Core is obviously very important for us because it's helping the guys be athletic and transfer force back and forth through the body as they move around. It's also important because it can help things like reduce lower back stiffness and lower back pain too. There's ways to do it that are a bit more boring and a bit more uh, typical. We're gonna make it a bit more fun and make it into a game. You guys ready? Yeah! So we're gonna get into push-up positions. So put your hands right here, a little bit closer because you guys are shorter, heads Ooh. closed. And all I want the guys to do here, the kids to do here, is just high five each other back and forth for 30 seconds. High five, high five, high five, boom. Change hands, change hands. Trying to stay strong and tight right here, madam. Trying to stay strong and tight right here. Go for as long as you can until someone falls over or for 30 seconds and then take a break. Good job. Okay, so hopefully you guys have your cores nicely engaged and ready to go. We're gonna do a really, really basic and simple uh, lower body leg exercise. So again, trying to keep the theme of doing it as family and doing it in a little bit of a group here. We're just gonna do a body weight squat. So an easy way to teach yourself to do this if you haven't done it before, and obviously if you're working with younger people like my friends here, you guys are gonna hold hands, okay? Really important, you try and keep your feet about shoulder width apart and try and keep them somewhat straight. Okay, so you're just kind of working together for balance. You guys ready? So just do, I want you to do a set of 12 nice easy squats. So here we go, on you guys. Good, excellent, good. What's your feet? Good, stay on balance, Jackson. A little wider with your feet. Three. That's better. The hips go back, make sitting in the chair. Four. And again, you're trying to sit in the chair. Keep going. Five. So you're pushing your hips back. A little better, buddy. Stay Six. strong. That's better. Stay strong. Good job, Dave. Seven. Give me, give me one more. Eight. And relax. Good. Yeah. Set of eight, 12. If you find that it's too easy, any of these exercises that we're going to show you, um, and you're not getting enough out of them, just do it for time. 
25 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you'll know when it's enough. Obviously, you're not trying to push yourself into the point of discomfort or, or obviously something worse than that. Just something to get you moving, a nice kind of warm feeling in your legs to be fine. So one of the more difficult body weight movements to do is something that involves pulling, unless you have a chin-up bar or something that you can pull towards you. Obviously, again, when you're working in groups of people, you can help each other out and use different pieces of equipment or each other to get a good back workout. So we're gonna do a inverted row exercise, okay? This is one when I'm gonna stand over them. Ready, Jackson? Yes. To keep it easier, depending on your strength level, you can shorten your lever length. Talk about lever lengths because we're Georgia Tech and we're engineers. Uh, by simply bending your knee. If you want to make this more difficult, you can do the straight legs. But for Jackson, we're going to go bent leg. Laurel, I get ready. I've never done this before. And okay, you're going to clasp hands. Now, it's important the person who's standing is going to be rigid and strong because the person on the floor is going to be relying on you. So I, I'm going to make sure the kids are good here. Okay, ready? Yeah. So stand up straight, pull your body in, go down again, come again. Stay, try and stay tight in the core, elbows close to your sides. Good job, buddy. And then down to the floor. So really, repetitions wise, because it's a little bit difficult and a little bit different, try and do as many as you can comfortably, okay? Let's have Laurel, I give it a shot. So again, knees bent, try and stay solid in the core so you're not sagging. That's gonna give you a bit more core engagement going back to our earlier exercises. Ready? Okay, here we go. Boom, one, stay tight, baby, don't drop. Come on, two, you got it, two, and give me one more, give me one more, and three, and then down. Good job, high five. Good job, buddy, high five. One thing about working out that's really important to remember, it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't matter what the circumstances, whether you're an NBA athlete or you're a young kid hanging out with his dad in the backyard, make it competitive, make it fun, mix it up a little bit and everyone will get through it and have much more of a good time uh, going through these exercises and the workout itself. So one thing, tr uh, true tested time, old exercise would be a uh, tug of war. So real simple, we tie two towels together. We have a marker in the middle, which the knot is above. Whatever side the knot ends up going to, ends up being the winner. Pretty simple stuff. Jackson, you're the anchor. Lorelei, you're in the middle. Okay, ready? And go. Really good exercise here because you're gonna keep your legs nice and strong, which is what's called an isometric, so you get some lower body work. Anything that involves hand is a good hand grip, forearm and shoulders, and anytime you pull, it involves your back. Okay, keeping things competitive and mixing things up a little bit, and also in this case, trying to add a bit of a full body workout, use of your core as well, all of your limbs. We're gonna do an exercise known as bear crawl. To make it a little bit different and more fun though, we're gonna perform it as a relay. So I'm gonna be going from where I am with my plant pot marker to my daughter Lorelei and her plant pot marker. High five and we're gonna exchange back and forth. If you're social distancing with more people than obviously the three, four people we have, you can do a true relay and go against each other. In our case, it'll probably go for about 30 seconds at most because it is quite tiring. Bear crawl itself. Hands and feet nice and low to the floor, bend your knees, keep your hips down, scamper across the floor, trying to stay strong and sound. Okay? okay. Everybody ready? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Me toward Lorelei, making sure the lawn's nice and clear. Come to Lorelei, high five, boom, Lorelei's turn. Butt down, babe, butt down. <laughs> stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, Jack and oh, you're up, buddy. Oh, Come on, keep scampering. You got it, you got it, you got it. Get back, get back, get back, high five. Gotta keep moving, it's really important to do that, add a bit of cardiovascular activity. Um, for some of the athletes, former athletes, recreational athletes, we have a bit of agility training would be nice too. A really, really simple way that you can do this, and we even do this uh, at Georgia Tech with the guys at certain times, is to play a game of tag. We've got a nice yarded area right here that we can use it for. I've got some very willing participants, and that way you can be super active and really, really get into this. Or you can be a lazy bulldog. Okay, I'm it. On three, go. One, two, three, go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lateralize it. Lateralize it. Get Jackson. Get Jackson. Get Jackson. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. Oh, Jackson's it. She's got Jackson. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Hopefully that gives you some ideas that you can be creative with your workouts, ways to stay active with your family at this time. From my family to yours, stay hydrated, stay safe, stay healthy. And as you know, divided we may fall, but together, together we, we fall. fall.